exciting morning for all of us here at United Independent School District. My name is Alex Meyer. First, I'd like to welcome everybody from the uh, press who have made time to be with us this morning as they still arrive. Setting up those cameras, we've got big news. So we'll give you a couple of seconds there. Thank you very much for making time for us. We'd also like to thank uh, all of our employees, our administrators, and our uh, management team to this meeting, to this uh, press conference. Okay, we're going to begin right now by letting you know that during the 2020-21 school year, UISD began its search for a new superintendent in light of the fact that Mr. Roberto J. Santos announced his retirement, effective June 30th, 2021. Mr. Santos dutifully served UISD as superintendent for 60 solid years, and the UISD Board of Trustees did not take the task of replacing him very lightly. Upon careful consideration of dozens of applicants, highly qualified individuals, the district proud, proudly named Mr. David H. Gonzalez as the lone finalist for the superintendent of schools position. Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Gonzalez currently serves as the district's associate superintendent for curriculum and instruction. For nearly 21 years, Mr. Gonzalez has dedicated his career to the education of UISD students. His past positions within UISD include executive director for middle school instruction, principal at Washington Middle School, assistant principal at Alexander and Lyndon B. Johnson High Schools. Overall, Mr. Gonzalez has been an educator for over 30 years. He earned his bachelor's degree in applied arts and sciences and his master's degree in education from Texas A&M International University. Throughout his career, Mr. Gonzalez has earned awards from the Texas Association of School Administrators, Texas Education Agency, Laredo Morning Times, United Way of Laredo, Texas Special Olympics, and the Region 1 Educational Service. Mr. Gonzalez believes in instilling pride in students and staff so that everyone can realize their best potential. The district is excited to have Mr. Gonzalez lead the district and serve students, staff, parents, and the entire community of United ISD. As per state law, the district must wait 21 days prior to officially hiring Mr. Gonzalez as its superintendent of schools and approving his employment contract. As such, the, district of, uh, the district's Board of Trustees is expected to have a board meeting on or about May 10th, 2021. This will formally name Mr. Gonzalez. At that time, Mr. Gonzalez will be named formally as the district's next superintendent of schools. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to our next superintendent of schools, Mr. David H. Gonzalez. First and foremost, uh, this glory to our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for all the benefits that we've been bestowed upon. I'd like to take this moment to uh, acknowledge Mr. Santos for the leadership of the last 16 years. Uh, we've been blessed to have him at the helm at United ISD. I will tell you that the uh, last few weeks have been exciting for a lot of us and maybe a little stressful for others. I'd like to recognize uh, Gloria Randon and her job as uh, Deputy Superintendent for UISD. <laughs> Lord, she's collaborated with uh, several superintendents on Mr. Santos. Mr. Mike Garza was also here with us. Uh, Ms. Leadership. <laughs> the success of the district has been a lot because of the leadership of Mr. Santos and the principles which we have been uh, uh, fortunate to have at UISD, but let's make no bones about it. It is the ability of our stakeholders to believe in the systems that we have in place as a district. We will continue to be successful because of the job of Lila Benavides, she does, Mr. San Flores in finance, Mr. David Garcia Human Resources, uh, Mr. Rick Perez in, in uh, technology, all the departments as a whole. This is not about one entity. United, as the name states, is united. We're a united district. We'll continue to do that. Changes that, that may come up in the future may be 
maybe younger personnel, as some of us get a little older, like myself. But more anything else to point out that we're in for kids. You know, someone once said, if a child does not learn the way you teach them, then you need to teach them the way they learn. And part of that way is through technology. That is a new wave. You know, I was asked the other day, you know, uh, by Google. I was in a, in a session with Google an Enterprise, and they, were, and they were asking us about some of the issues with what we've gained, you know, through the working uh, version of the students. And one of the things that I pointed out is, number one, we were able to see how grateful it is to have face-to-face -face with our teachers, because regardless of technology, nothing can replace a person. We're not numbers. But on the other spectrum, we also saw the difference and how a lot of our students uh, struggle at first, but they have embraced the new technology and teachers were able to educate themselves to be better educators. Uh, I want to make for the record very clear. Mr. Santos is a superintendent of schools right now. The only decision that was made last night, the Board of Trustees enacted to make me the lone finalist. In 21 days, they will reconvene, as mentioned by Alex Myers. But we will continue to uh, move forward under the leadership of our present superintendent, who I have the most respect for, who I have learned uh, from, as a lot of us have. And we'll continue to move forward because that's who we are. We are about students. It's not about a particular person like myself or Nadia Major Santos. It's about the people that work at United. And we're going to continue that vision and that mission because that's what we have been entrusted with. By our community. I want to thank all of you and, and, and also recognize the students in our district for the year they've had. You know, you all think when you were in school, things were a lot different. I cannot imagine some of us were social butterflies living in a world right now where we're confined, you know, to a computer and so forth. So as our kids are coming back, all I can tell the community is we've done well academically. We have a good safety system in place. We will continue to move forward. Uh, and what a lot of districts call challenges, United ISD looks at them as opportunities, and we'll continue to do so. So, you have my family, I want to thank you for, for allowing us to embrace the education of our students. And um, I want to again thank Mr. Santos for his leadership. Thank you very much. Y'all awake now? Yeah. <laughs> that concludes this morning's press conference. There we go. Thank you very much for attending. It's a big day for United ISD. And again, we appreciate the time you've taken to come to uh, share in this news with us. Thank you very much. Have a great day.